Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a popular and exciting way for kids to learn coding. Scratch. Scratch is a visual programming language developed by MIT specifically for kids. It's a great way for kids to learn the basics of coding through creating animations, games, and interactive stories. With Scratch, kids can easily drag and drop blocks of code to create their own projects. Whether they want to create an animation, a game, or an interactive story, Scratch has everything they need to get started. And the best part is, they don't need to know any complex coding syntax or language to use it. That's why Scratch is so popular among kids. They can easily learn how to code and create their own projects, and they'll have fun doing it. In this video we will create a simple interactive motion graphic project using Scratch. We will set the project name. We will remove the default sprite. We will grab a new sprite using the sprite icon. For this project, we will select a basketball. To move the basketball at the center, we will set the axis value of X and Y to 0. After that, we will place four arrows icons to show the movement of the basketball. We have to scale it down to 25%. To move it left from the center, we will set the x-axis to minus 125 and y-axis to minus 125 to move it down. We will duplicate the sprite to make the left arrow and position it. We can flip the icon to point it left using the Costumes tab. Similarly, we will create top and down arrow and position it. We have to check with different values to position it in the right place. Now, we will create a baseline for the basketball using the paint option from Sprite button. To do that, we will select the line tool. Set the outline color to black with 10 points depth. Once we create the baseline, we can position it under the basketball. We can zoom out the browser window if needed. Now we will rename the sprites. Renaming the sprite will help us when we work on a large project with a lot of sprites. We finished the design, now it's time to add interactive motion in the icons. We will start with the up arrow. From the event tab, we will select a block that will act when we press the arrows from the keyboard. Under that, we will add a loop block from Control tab. We will set the loop value to 1. Set the up arrow from the block drop down list. From the motion tab, we will take a block to change the Y axis value of the icon. We will add a delay block from the Control tab. To show a motion movement, we have to set two values of the icon. We will set the position values in the block. The loop value needs to be increased to repeat the steps. Up arrow is done. Now we can copy the blocks and paste it on the down arrow. We will change the key option to down arrow and set the position values differently.
Copy the blocks. Paste it on the right arrow. We have to change the axis from Y to X updating the X axis value. We copy the blocks on the left arrow as well and update the position values. Remember to check if the values are set properly. We need to reduce the repeat time. Four arrow icons are done. We will add coating blocks on the basketball now like the way we have added on the arrows. We will work on the up and down arrow first. Repeat value should be 1 for the basketball. And we will change the position with 50 points. Perfect, we can duplicate the block to add the down arrow function as well. We have to set negative value to move it down from the center. We can set the value to minus 80 for the down arrow. We duplicate these blocks to make the right and left arrow functions. For that, we need the x-axis value. Change the position with 50 points. To move left from the center, we have to set a negative value. Okay, maybe we should change the arrow repeat value to 1 as well. The project is completed. Now, if we press any arrow key from the keyboard, the basketball will move to that direction and the arrow icons will point the direction as well. What do you want to make with Scratch? Codingle provides coding education to every K-12 student all over the world, preparing them for the future. With Codingle, Kids can learn Scratch and other coding languages in a fun and engaging way. They can access interactive lessons, tutorials, and projects that make coding easy to understand and enjoyable. Codingle's platform is designed to be accessible and user-friendly, so kids can start learning right away. And with Codingle, kids don't have to worry about getting stuck or not understanding something. The platform provides them with the resources and support they need to succeed. Plus, Codingle offers real-time feedback and progress tracking, so kids can see how far they've come and what they still need to work on. The benefits of learning to code at a young age are endless. It's not just about preparing for the future and having a valuable skill, it's about creativity, problem solving, and having fun. So what are you waiting for? Get your kids started on their coding journey today with Scratch and Codingle. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned in Codingle YouTube channel and subscribe for regular updates.